Well, I think it's good that we're having this conversation. I think it's really important that we do have a national debate, really, about the propensity of pornography online and the harm that that does to young people. And I am very, very concerned about this. You know, I'm mother of three teenagers, young adults myself. And, you know, it does disturb me the amount of pornography that is available and the readiness with which it is accessible. But I think because I've got three teenagers, young adults, I'm also not naive. And to me, it just seems like what's being proposed here is completely unworthy. It won't do what it's supposed to do. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one who, when I was 16, was faking ID to be able to get into nightclubs and pubs. Um, you know, and I'm, as far as I'm aware, this is still what young people do nowadays. It just seems that any young person who is really determined to access pornography will find a way around this in two minutes. And the other problem, I think, is the fact that pornography is so completely ubiquitous. You know, it's the there on Twitter, you know, any site that you put in, you can just stumble across pornography accidentally, it seems to me. And so the idea that you're going to put a password credit card protection thing on Twitter, on Instagram, on all of these different social media accounts, you can't do that. So I think in that context, teenagers determined will find a way around it. There's so much of it and it's everywhere that it can't be regulated. You do then have to look at what are the consequences of implementing this legislation in terms of people's privacy. But Harriet, the, the point that Joanna raises to me is the key one because will people be able to get around it? Yeah, I'm sure that they will. You know, kids are a lot smarter I'm not online so worried than anything about, else. But I, I, I'm more worried about, um, I'm hopefully they won't be, I'm more worried about children of kind of 9, 10, 11 who are seeing um, really appalling images can access a disgusting things. I mean, even before they've had their first kiss, they've seen, you know, I won't go, goodness knows what on, on the, and, and this has been a sort of, um, sort of untested experiment on young people exposing them, which has had all kinds of influences on behaviour. Um, you just have to talk to teenage girls of 15 or 16 and hear how boys are treating them because they've watched so much pornography from such a young age and expecting these girls to do things because they want, they think they should be looking like a kind of pornographic star or porn, you know, rather than just a normal flesh, flesh and blood person. So let's try at least to try and stop very young children watching this stuff.